Hello and welcome to My B2B Coach 5 Tips. Super excited to have Ryan Avery, one of my favorite speakers uh, that I've seen. So Ryan, I know you love to share and uh, you have some great tips on uh, millennials. So yeah. go right ahead and share your five tips. Okay, um, tip number one, it's right in the title of the book, Motivating Millennials. One difference that differentiates a leader versus the leader in this new world is a leader manages their team the leader motivates their team. Okay, tip number one, we don't want to manage people anymore. You can manage your spreadsheets, you can manage your budgets. People don't want to be managed, they want to feel motivated. So we can motivate them through stories, through personal experiences, to finding out what gets them to move. And that is the definition of motivation. By definition, motive, if you break it down, motive is the Latin prefix for uh, to move, and then ation is the suffix in Latin for action. So literally, by definition, it literally means moving someone to action. So finding out what gets your people to move is the first tip. We want to be motivating. We don't want to be managers. The second thing that's really important and tip-wise that I would recommend is the number one reason why we're seeing good people leave, according to open source, is because they stop feeling appreciated at work. Okay, so here's one of the differences between a leader and the leader is a leader will generalize their appreciation, the leader will customize their appreciation. Okay. So what we see and what we know working with teams is it is a lot less expensive to the company. It is a lot more impactful to the team when you customize the appreciation for the individuals when they do a good job or when you want to recognize them. When, when someone, let's say, for example, instead of giving them a big bonus or doing something big like everybody else gets, if you know what motivates them, they like to run and they have a race coming up and you customize it by paying their race entry, that's a couple hundred bucks, you are going to motivate that employee. You're also going to let them know that you paid attention to them and their interests. So how can you customize the appreciation based off of what gets them to move? Tip number three. This one's a big one for a lot of people, especially baby boomers who are in charge or who are leading. It's this concept in my book called Motivating Millennials that I go through and it's generational shapes. And what I talk about is there's one difference between a leader and the leader based off of the shape that you are and based off of what generation you belong to. But one difference is, you know, a leader, they like to move up. The leader likes to move around. Okay. And so this is a big distinction mm -hmm. between how we used to motivate our team. We used to say, here's the promotion. Here's the thing that we're going to give you, you know, a couple more years and you can get up here. Well, what millennials don't necessarily want, they don't want to go up here. What they want is, I want to try sales. I want to try marketing. I want to try HR. I want to move around within the company and then I will find and understand what my true purpose and passion is. And that's when I'll really want to get deeper and find out more and go to conferences based off of what I've done because I've moved around a lot. Okay. So where are you offering opportunities for your team to move around within the company, to try different things so they stay at the company, but ultimately find out what it is that they're really good at and then can make you the best leader as well, okay? Here's one, it's one of my biggest pet peeves and it comes to uh, anyone really. I know I talk a lot about millennials, but this is anyone in general. This is tip number four. A leader offers yearly reviews the leader offers consistent mentoring. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very different, all right? So I, I relate it back to, let's say my daughter, she plays basketball, let's say she plays basketball and she comes up to me after the game and she goes, hey dad, how'd I do? And I go, you know what? I'll tell you in December, right? Like that would, that would make no <laughs> sense. I, want, I would give her the feedback right away. And this is what we, we want it in from our direct leaders, right? We want that mentoring. We want that feedback. We want that opportunity to grow in the moment. These yearly reviews, these quarterly reviews are insane to me, okay? What we want is to consistently mentor our people to be better. And there's a variety of ways you can mentor. You can do peer mentoring, networking mentoring, uh, reverse mentoring, traditional mentoring. I mean, there's so many ways to mentor. So do you have mentoring set in place so you're constantly offering feedback to your employees. And that is tip number five, understanding the difference between feedback versus opinions, okay? What happens is a lot of leaders give opinions. What people want are feedback. What's the difference? Opinion is an observation 
without a how or a why attached to it, okay? Feedback observation with a how and a why attached to it. Now, according to Forbes, 60% of American employees want more feedback from their direct leaders. So even if you are giving feedback, people want more of it. So really think about this, okay? In these five tips, consider who you are in your leadership abilities and who you are as the leader. Do you wanna be this manager who generalizes appreciation, gets people to move up in the company, does these yearly reviews and offers opinions all the time? Or do you wanna be the leader and you're motivated and you're customizing appreciation. You're getting people to move around so they really find out what they, what they are good at. You are offering consistent mentoring through developing your people and you are offering them feedback so they get better every single day. I know what type of leader I wanna be. And this can relate back to whether you're motivating millennials, baby boomers, Gen Xs. We as leaders get people to move people to action. That's our job. So those would be my five tips. Motivate customize, move around, consistent mentoring, and feedback would be my five tips. I hope that uh, helps you. That was great. Those are fantastic tips. I really like the customizing, and I like the example of race. I think sometimes people think too, not too big isn't the right word, but they overthink it. Could you use some other examples of simple customization that would yeah, be meaningful you think, um, for people? My, my assistant, um, she loves chocolate chip cookies. And so I, a couple of weeks ago, I see the best chocolate chip cook recipe in New York. Well, I send this to her um, and, I, and I send her a $10 gift card to her local grocery store. And I said, hey, if you have time to make these for your um, kiddos this weekend, tell me how they are in our weekly meeting on Monday, okay? One of my clients, um, I know that she loves to garden and you can do this with your clients too, by the way. Um, she loves to garden. And so I send her a $2 packet of seeds with a handwritten note that says, hey, I hope these brighten up your day and your garden this year. Right? I'm customizing it based off of what they like or what they want. So it lets them know I care about them and I'm thinking about them. That's great. Well, I want to appreciate there. Well, I, one last thing. If somebody wants to get a hold of you, what's the best way to get a hold of you? RyanAvery.com. I don't have social media, uh, so you can contact me, RyanAvery.com. You can email me. Uh, you can call me, text me. Uh, I'm available. <laughs> Perfect. I appreciate it. I appreciate you being on my B2B Coaches 5 Tips today. Thanks, John, so much. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.